Question 12 from Section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. An electron enters a region of uniform magnetic field as shown. The electron moves from the left to right and the region of magnetic field is out of the page. The direction of the magnetic force on the electron immediately after entering a field is and we're given five choices. Now remember the electron is a negatively charged particle and our simple rule for positive charged particles we remember from Elvis. Elvis has left the building and the cry from the audience would say the following Are you positive? So if you are a positive charge you would use your left hand rule. But since the electron is a negative charge we have to use the right hand rule for this time. And here's a picture of the right hand rule. As you can see the right hand rule is placed, the right hand is placed above the dots representing the magnetic field coming out of the page. The first finger points out the way because the magnetic field is out of the page. The electron is travelling from left to right. That's represented by me twisting my finger as best I can. The second finger to go from left to right and the thumb shows you the direction of the force experienced by the electron. So as you can see from the diagram there, it's towards the top of the page. So here's the simulation showing you what happens with that negatively charged electron as it enters the region where the magnetic field is out of the screen. As you can see, if we pick a negative charge, it will move up towards the top of the page. Question 13 from section 1 of the 2019 Higher Physics Examination. A student makes the following statements about the standard model. Every particle has an antiparticle. Statement 2. Alpha decay is evidence for the existence of the neutrino. And statement 3. The W boson is associated with the strong nuclear force. OK, let's take each statement in, in turn. Statement 1. Every particle has an antiparticle in the standard model. Well, that is correct. For a proton, there's an antiproton. For a neutrino, there's an antineutrino. Every particle has an antiparticle. Now, the second statement is a little bit more difficult. Alpha decay is evidence for the existence of the neutrino. Well, the neutrino was discovered by beta decay. And here's a diagram for that. And you can see that for this particular nucleus, it emits a beta particle, a fast-moving electron. But in order to account for all momentum considerations, it was necessary to, in fact, look for the neutrino coming off that. And remember, neutrino is very hard to detect. But when the theorists predicted the neutrino uh, coming off that reaction, beta decay, then it was, in fact, it happened. It made the momentum all add up. So for beta decay, that was evidence for the neutrino. So that one is wrong. It's incorrect. What about the next one? The W boson is associated with the strong nuclear force. Well, that's incorrect as well. And the reason why that's incorrect is because of this statement here. Gluons are responsible for the strong nuclear force, not the W boson. So, that one is incorrect as well, which leaves us just one statement correct, and that's statement one. So the answer is going to be A.